Welcome back to Waz a Day, where Waz today is Spotlight, a 1982 release from Children's Television Workshop and Apple Computer Incorporated, running here on the Apple IIe and Virtual 2. Wrapping up our Children's Television uh, Workshop week on Waz a Day here. Just gotta wait for Spotlight to load up. Spotlight, if you're not familiar, is a series of educational games for the Apple II. We got Reflect, Spotlight, Hot Stuff, and Boxed In. I'm going to hit one. I'm going to get into some Reflect here. I've got a joystick hooked up as well uh, here in Virtual 2. Uh, cause I'm going to use that as my paddle controller. Here for Reflect and uh, Spotlight as well. Uh, in Reflect, you angle a mirror so that the light from a flashlight reaches the object displayed. Just got to wait for Reflect to load up here. See how the light bounces off the mirror. Turn paddle zero to rotate the mirror. Yeah, so you can move left and right on a joystick as well. And you can press a button on the joystick. Just turn on the light. There we go. We're reflecting now. So now we gotta turn the mirror so the light shines on that girl's face. So this is a little bit finicky to me. I don't know. I don't know how great you are with angles. This is, this is with the, the joystick zeroed for me. What angle I get? So you gotta hold. Hold the joystick at a precise angle and let the analog joystick go just a little bit. Let's see, is that a good angle? I don't know. Who knows? Let's find out. Oh, only just. Got to shine it on her face. Okay, so here we go. Let's see. All right, got it right in the face. Okay. Um, that was a hair-raising experience. Press return to go on. We'll see if this one uh, will drop me back to the main menu or not. Uh, see if I have to reboot the Apple II on this one. Let's try this. Is that gonna... Oh, no. Barely. You'll never hit it if you aim there. Try again. Okay. About that. I feel like the mirror is at an odd angle uh, <laughs> to the flashlight here. I don't know. Maybe just me. Maybe I, I need this education here. You never know uh, when you're going to learn something new from an, ed an edutainment game for toddlers. Is that? Oh no. I'm doing terribly. Wow. There we go. That looks like it. Oh, nice. Excellent. Is everything coming up roses for you? Press return to go on. Oh, we got to hit a firecracker fuse. This is, this is like. This is great stuff. Do we have to hit it right on the fuse? Oh no, that's that's a terrible angle. I can already tell. You do gotta wait. Let's try the, try nothing here. See if that works. Oh, nice. Pro tip for spotlight. The firecracker, firecracker and reflect. You can just uh, leave the joystick neutral to light the fuse. I mean, I'm I'm assuming it puts each object in the same position each time, but maybe it's maybe it's completely random. Maybe this is, you know, high replay value. That wasn't flashy enough. Oh, did I? I used okay. You turned the light on ten times and you lit up the target three times. Okay. So presumably there's a number of targets you can get through there. I'm gonna not play again though. I'm gonna go back. And we'll check out uh, check out the next game, which is the titular Spotlight. In Spotlight, you angle a mirror so the spotlight shines on a man moving across the screen. Set two in the spotlight. I do wonder how much some of these games originally retailed for. Were they like nine ninety nine, twenty nine ninety nine, thirty nine ninety nine? In the early early eighties money, I mean, come on now. Okay, uh, I would like instructions. Yes, I got this guy. Oh, this is Steve. He's very shy. 
Try to hit him with the spotlight before he gets away. Oh, okay. Press return. Press return to hit Steve. Press the button on paddle zero to turn on the spotlight. Okay. See, the light bounced off the mirror. Now turn paddle zero. Okay, so we're controlling that mirror. Looks like we got a double mirror situation that we can get into here. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Nice. Seems like these need, like, fine control, which is kind of hard with uh, the joystick. Probably easier with a paddle, where you have kind of absolute positioning. A little bit harder with uh, the analog uh, joystick. We gotta hit Steve, though. Oh, no. That's not it. Okay. That? That's not it, either. Almost. Fall into my trap, Steve. Oh, no! Man, this is, this is, this is challenging. Steve just keeps moving. Be honest. Oh no. My Steve stats are going to be terrible at the end of this. I didn't get Steve once. That's end of act one. He took ten shots and hit Steve zero times. That's terrible. Press return. Uh, sure, let's, let's do it again. I gotta I got get Steve. I gotta know. Alright, let's see here. Oh man. Got him. Watch him do a little soft shoe. Okay. Oh, come on now. That's Steve. Oh, did we get him? Oh man, the hitboxes on this are brutal. I can't imagine, like, a three-year-old or a four-year-old having any fun with it. <laughs> to be honest, I mean... I'm just, I'm just, uh... Evaluating the game on its own terms here. End of Act 2. Got Steve once. Okay. Uh, I, don't, I think I'm done with uh, Spotlight, though. And then, we're gonna get into the next game. Let's get into Hot Stuff. It says, in Hot Stuff, you try to guess a number between 0 through 9. Each turn, the player guesses three numbers and are told how many are far away, close, or correct. Loading Hot Stuff. We'll see how this goes. I may be uh, defeated by this edutainment game. Hot stuff. Try to guess three numbers and their order. I'll help you with some clues. Would you like instructions? Yes. So it's not just three numbers, it's three numbers and their order. Press a number from zero to nine and then press return. Let's do... Zero. One. Two. And then, it'll tell us. Press return to go on. Uh, so we've got three cold numbers, zero warm numbers, zero hot numbers. So I think none of the numbers are zero, one, or two. These are all cold. Cold, the number is wrong. Don't use it at all. Warm, the number is right. Move it to a different place. Hot, the number is right. Keep it there. So the difficulty here is you don't know which number is which. So you just gotta, gotta uh, logic it out. Which I may not be good at. Let's do three, four, five. I think it, you can do three, three at a time. I'm not sure what order is going to do that. In. I think it does it in reverse order. So no, no, it doesn't. It does it in the correct order. Okay, this does the five first. Okay, let's see what we got. See if we got anything. Oh, so we've got the right numbers, but not in the right order. So uh, let's try five, five, three, four. Oh no, not five, two, four. Five, three, four. This is going way better than expected. <laughs> Uh, so, let's see, it has to be, what, four, five, three? Maybe. Oh, all hot. You're really hot today. We gotta have a firefighter Muppet put us out. 
Okay. It's 453 degrees hot. Maybe that's what they're saying. This should cool things off a little. Press return. Uh, actually, I'm going to do that again. Let's see. Maybe if you didn't get what was going on the first time, you'll get it the second time. Let's do, uh, let's use my same strategy. It worked last time. I mean, <laughs> I got, I feel like I got uh, some real RNG luck there. I don't know. So it's one of the, so yeah, you can see here when you get one warm, it's like, um, I don't know what, so which one's warm? Let's try. Uh, so let's only use one number from that. Let's do zero, three, four. But it's like, if I get a warm here, I don't know, is it the zero that's making me warm or not? I don't know. No, all cold, so it's not the zero, so let's do... One... I don't know how many guesses we got either. Uh, one, five, six. Also, I, I, I also don't know, you know, what, what toddler, or what... What child would be playing this game alongside the other? So I've got one that's in the correct place, so... It could be the one. So let's try one, seven, eight. Oh, so we've got, so the, I'm, I'm pretty sure that one is hot, right? Let's try one, seven, nine. Maybe the one and the eight are hot, but maybe the one and the seven are hot. Who knows? Let's find out. Okay. So maybe it's uh, one nine eight. Wait, no, was that because I had two hots? So let's try it. One nine eight. Let's go for it. Oh, when you're hot, you're hot. Can't argue with that. Cooling off a little. Let's press return. Uh, I'm not going to play again, though. That was enough for me. Uh, I do have to admit, uh, this is actually a re-record. I did, I did one round of that where I had no idea uh, what the game was asking of me. And uh, I don't think that was probably very satisfying to watch or entertaining. Uh, so this is a re-record where I've at least got a chance against this uh, children's game. Let's check out Boxed In, though. It says Boxed In is a computerized version of Othello played on a 6x6 board against a computer opponent. Like, what, what age range was this supposed to be for? I'm not sure. Like, <laughs> Let's see, yes. Um, all right, the black squares are yours. The white squares are the computers. Try to capture the white squares by boxing them in with your black squares. Press return to learn more. Okay. So right now, uh, let's box one in by uh, doing B4. Uh, so I don't know... Uh, in, in the final game, if I'm restricted in positions as much, that's this, like, what what is in this tutorial? I don't know. But we captured that white square. Let's see. Let's see what, let's see what else we can do. Now it's the computer's turn. They're going to probably, you know, do something to me that I won't like. Ah, uh, they got me. All right, it's my turn again. Uh, let's try, hmm, let's try E6, get a diagonal capture going. Now you're on your own, all right, living the dream. I have a feeling this could still go quite poorly for me. Uh, I mean, this is my first time playing this. This is uh, the computer. computer. Computer probably knows what it's doing. I don't know. I don't. Uh, 
the computer can search the entire problem space. Um, and I can't. Uh, let's do, I don't know, D or no, B3? What do you think? Seems fine to me. I'm not stressing about these moves too much. I think we're going until we uh, fill the board. Oh, they got, got some good positioning there. Um, I don't know, like E. E4. E4. Or Peter Pats. Maybe maybe I should be passing more. I don't know what. <laughs> That's the D1. I don't know. I could capture, at like, a... Wait, what? Oh, you can't move to D1 because no white squares will be captured. Oh, I do have to capture. Okay, never mind then. Never mind. Okay, so I do have to capture. Okay. Good to know. Um, let's do C6. So, uh, I, would, I would assume that the same rules apply to the computer. Always be capturing ABC. Oh man, have I completely ruined things for myself here? <laughs> this is D1, I don't know. Oh man. E2. Okay. Can I do F F F three? Is that a wise move? Probably not. What else can I do? Do F one, that's a safe move, right? Sets me up for a good capture if I can get it. We'll see. Maybe this is the case where I should just resort to emulator fast forward, but you know, gotta keep things authentic here. That's what the people demand. Good or bad, impossible to say. I know if uh, if there's any high ranking Othello players watching this, my apologies. like I'm being tempted into something here. Um, this is like F, F5 looks good to me. But that gets me in a capturable state, but is it worth it? Because I could then capture them. I don't know. No? Oh, let's do, let's just do, let's do, um, let's just do C1. Nothing could possibly go wrong with C1, right? Okay. Interesting choice. I'll, I'm going to do A1. I can still do that F5 uh, to get a diagonal capture going. B6. Okay. Hmm. I mean, I can get a capture by going to B2. 
That's right. Oh no. Forgot about F6. Yep, and that's what they're going for. Yep. Mm hmm. Yep. Seems like it. That was a terrible move by me. Could I, could I have blocked? I could have blocked by going by to, back to F6. But yeah, now I'm probably going to lose. Let's find out. Uh, A6, I guess. Sure, why not? Get a diagonal capture of one. Okay. Uh, let's see here. I don't think they can do anything to move to A3, right? It's an unimpeachable move, right? Right? Who can say? I feel like I can go A2, and then I'm probably not going to be able to block them, right? Oh, them's, them's the breaks. Let's see. Um, this is all going terribly. Uh, F. Should, uh, I'm just, I'm just going to enter moves now. Who knows? We're in the box in endgame here now. I, I could definitely see if if you did uh, person versus person on this. Just, uh, friendships, families ruined, you know, the usual. I, I don't, who, who can say where the computer will go next? That's a search. All right, let's see. Let's see how this all falls out. Computer wins. Black 17. White 19. Would you like to play again? I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no. It's going to take, about, take us back to the menu here, and uh, but I think that's going to do it here for me with uh, Spotlight for Waza Day. And if you like obscure early edutainment titles for the Apple II like this, go ahead and subscribe. And I'll see you tomorrow. For our next Waza Day.